This is Lisa Rudin, producer of Misconnections. And this is Eric Kisak, director of Misconnections. This is correct. Lisa, how did, how did you decide you wanted to make movies? Uh, I studied communications in college and took one film course and fell in love with it. And then thought maybe I'd do news or comedy and ended up starting to work for director and I love it. <laughs> was that your first job? Was that was it working, for, working for a director? No, it was working for Bill Maher uh, at real time. Nice. Yes. And I worked on Religious and then that's how I met director and then and then I met you. And we met through director. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, and and how did you know how did you know you producing was what you wanted to do? Uh, on the last movie that we were on, Bruno, I worked very closely with the producer and she really was understaffed and got to kind of throw me into a lot of tough situations. This would be Monica Levinson. Yes, Monica Levinson, who put us together actually. And uh, and the rest is history. The rest is it? <laughs> How about you? How did you get into this? Um, I, I did a little bit of film in school, um, kind of doing my own thing. It was kind of funny because uh, I, you know, in, I, my school didn't have a film program. I went to Brown and we uh, pretty much if you wanted to make something to do on your own, you know, mm -hmm. and so they had cameras you can, you know, borrow and editing equipment and all that stuff. And the problem was that it was there were so few kids actually doing it that, that you wound up having no support. You know, it wasn't like in NYU where like, okay, I'm going to produce your movie and you're going to shoot my movie and blah, blah, blah. You know, right. it would literally be like I would be the one holding the camera and I would be the one directing and I'd be the one getting the props and everything together. And I remember just thinking like, God, film is horrible. Like, it's so <laughs> overwhelming and crazy and, and, you know, it just didn't occur to me how different it would be with an actual crew. It took me years, I, that's why I became an editor, because it was like the, the most manageable part of the process. It was like, it's just me and a computer, right? And, and I can just edit. And it took me years to sort of realize, you know, actually how much fun making movies could be, how much directing movies could be when you're working with... With help. With help, <laughs> and, with, and, with, and, and how, much, how exciting that could be to work with creative people who would add to the process and who would actually bring so, you know, just their own visions and ideas. And, and, uh, and yeah, so I, so when you produced my short film last year, I was hooked. I loved the whole idea, the whole process, and loved working with actors. And, um, and, then, and then we made this movie, Misconnections, which is here at the Cleveland, Cleveland <laughs> Film Festival. Yes. How did you decide that, that, what was it that actually made you switch from editing to possibly directing? It's, it's kind of embarrassing, but I think I have too big of an ego. Basically, to be an editor, it's hard. You, as well, a, I like it. The I'm best, glad you have an ego. <laughs> the best editors manage that really difficult thing of, of involving themselves emotionally into a project and yet distancing themselves enough that they can ultimately take a back seat to the director, you know? Mm -hmm. And I can never quite manage that trick. I always basically would just, I would get frustrated when the director wanted to do something that I thought was clearly stupid. Yes. <laughs> and so uh, it became clear that eventually I had to just do my own things. 